um, Sheikh, my car company forces me to pay taxes on my car if I bought it for more than 5000 If I bought a car for 9000 but me and the seller, we both agreed, like, I don't have to disclose that amount. And I put down 5 k so I don't pay these taxes. Did I do something wrong? And, like, in this case, is my money haram? The money Sheikh, is, want... the, the, listen, Mooney, now, evading taxes without lying or cheating is permissible. Why? Because the taxes governments take from the likes of you and me is totally haram. Because they are extorting these, this wealth and this money from us without our will and without accepting it. So this is haram money for the government to take. But as a Muslim, we cannot lie and we cannot cheat. So if you can avoid taxations in a loophole or a legal um, way, then this is permissible without cheating and lying. Now, if you collaborate with the seller to say something else, which is not true, and you write it and you sign papers, this is a lie, and you would be sinful for that. Also, it would impact most likely your insurance. So if you were involved in an accident and the insurance company wanted to compensate you, they will compensate you on the account of these $5,000, among other factors, and Allah knows best.